Hello everyone! Today I will tell you about all about ocean life. Introduction A lot of Earth is covered by salt water oceans. The oceans are home to many types of life. Some the animals, plants, some from the most longest plants to the biggest whales. What do you know about oceans? Which animals live in the oceans? With which animals can you find in icy oceans? Now we will discover more about wonderful ocean life. One, oceans of the world. There are five oceans. They cover about 70% of Earth. Oceans in their seahorse are different all around the world. On the Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean, there is a lot of ice in winter. If warm in tropical ocean, you can find colorful coral reefs. When very many plants, fish, and other animals live. <coughs> An ocean is always, is always moving because of waste, currents, and tides. When the wind blows over the water, it makes wave currents are large amounts of warm or cold water that move around the ocean. An ocean also moves up the sea horse that back and back again to times a day. These movements are called tides. Living in the ocean is very different to living on land. Ocean plants and animals have special way to breathe in. Eating, moving, and keeping safe. The blue whale in, is the biggest animal animals in the world. It can be more thirty meters long. It moves well in the ocean because the water holds it up. <laughs> Who eats what? In the ocean, there are lots of very small animals and plants called plankton. The plankton live near the top of the ocean because they need sunlight. Small fish eat plankton. Big animals eat the small fish. Then even bigger animals eat them. So plankton are important to almost every ocean animal. This is called food chain. Animals that eat other animals called predator, predators. The animals that they are are called prey. Most sharks are predators. Sharks can swim very fast to catch their prey. The whale shark is the biggest fish in the world. It's as long as a bus. It has no teeth, so it only eats plankton in small swim. Lots of seaweed coral kelp grows near the sea hole. The kelp is safe from for many fish, sea urchins eat kelp, and sea otters eat a lot of sea urchins. So sea otters have to keep enough kelp in the ocean for the fish to live in. Three, the seahorse. There is a lot of ocean life. Seashore. Seashore. Yes, yeah, seashore. Seashore. <laughs> seashore. The seashore. There is a lot of ocean life near the seashore because the water here is full of food. Many birds, fish, and shellfish live and feed near the seashore. The seashore is not always a, a safe place. Big waves can throw animals onto rocks to carry them away. At low tide, animals and plants can easily dry out in the sun. Limpets are animals that have a special short, strong foot that holds onto rocks. These keep them safe from big waves. They also have a hard shell to, so they don't dry out. Most trees can live, can't live in salty ocean water, but mangrove trees grow on the seashore in tropical places. 
They have special roots so they can live in soft water. Many fish and other animals live in under the roots of mangrove tree. trees. Tree. Trees. Under the water, sea animals, animals use the long ten tentacles to catch food and to sting their predators. At low tide, they pull their tentacles in, in so they don't dry out. Four, mammals and birds. A mammal is, is an animal that drinks milk from its mother and breathes air. Most mammals live like people and elephants, live on land, so mammals live in the ocean. Because they feed and move in work, ocean mammals are different from land mammals in many ways. The sea lion's body has a shape like a fish, so it can swim very fast. It doesn't have front leg, but it has flippers that full pull it through the water. Well, our ocean mammals, like all whales, the sperm whale breathes through hole to its head, and its head called a blow hole. Sperm whales are, can stay underwater for two hours. They can dive a long way down into the ocean. Some birds live, feed, and sleep on the ocean. They catch fish by diving under the water. Some birds only come to the sea shore to make nests and to lay eggs. The Olvagus has bigger wings than many, any other bird. The two wings, the two wings can be more than three meters wide. The Olvagus can fly up to. 1,000 kilometers a day. <laughs> Five, coral reefs. Corals are small animals that make hard covers around themselves. The covers are many different shapes and colors. Coral reefs um, are places where lots of corals live together. They are beautiful and wonder the worlds. Many different plants and animals live on coral reefs. Coral reef fish are very colorful so they camouflage. It's not easy to see them near the coral. Clam fish live near the tentacles of the sea animals. Predate predators some come near because the tentacles can sting up them. The clownfish are safe because they have a special skin. Predators don't come near lionfish either. The spines of lionfish can sting a fish and stop it moving or even kill it. Small fish called glitter wars work hard on coral reefs. They are little plants and animals that live on big fish. The big fish don't eat the glitter wars. They open their mouth so that so the wars can clean inside. Six, keeping safe. Small fish are other and other animals have to keep safe from predators. Some fish swim together in big group called shoal. It in a shoal, there are more fish to look out for predators. There are also lo lots of fish to eat. So, if a big fish is lucky, the predators eats one of the, uh, the other fish. The leafy sea dragon is very well camouflaged. When it hides in seaweed, other fish can't see it. Can you see this leafy sea dragon? Here. It looks like a, a leaf. Seaweed. A seaweed. If a starfish loses an arm, it can grow a new one. Not like people. Mm -hmm. uh, when people lose an arm, <laughs> they lose forever. <laughs> Octopuses camouflage themselves 
by turning a different color. Can you see this octopus? When an octopus is scared, it can also make a big cloud of black ink. And these surprises predators can give the octopus time to swim away. When the broccoli fish sees a predator, it drinks a lot of water. It makes its body big and round like a ball. <laughs> and its spines stand up. The predators know that they can't eat them, so if they so they don't come near. Seven, catching prey. Big predators are good at catching their prey. Sharks can smell and see very well. The hammerhead shark has nostrils and the eyes at the end of its head, so it can see and smell all around. Electric ray can give other fish an electric shock. It's they stop them moving or kills them, so that the ray the ray can't eat them. All gel jellyfish have tentacles that can sting. When the, a fish swims near a jellyfish, the tentacles sting in it many times. The jellyfish can eat can then eat the fish. The angler fish lives in deep water where it's very dark and cold, but it has a small light on the mm, it head. <coughs> when small fish see the light, they think it's something that they can't eat. When they swim near, the angler fish eat them. Eight, icy oceans. Large Ooh. parts of Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean have a big have ice on them in one winter. There are also big icebergs. In summer, a lot of ice melts. Then there are little pieces of ice in the ocean. And the icebergs are smaller. Polar bears live in Arctic. Most of the year, they live on ice. They catch seals from holes in the ice. They also swim between the ice and icebergs. Polar bears are the biggest type of bear, but they, their cubs are very, very small when they are born. Cute. Here, there are some America. In summer, the Southern Ocean has a lot of plankton. Many dolphins, whales, seals, and birds come there to feed. Penguins live near the South Pole. South Pole. They dive into the ocean for fish and other small animals. They have special feathers that keep them warm and dry. Their feathers are so warm that penguins can sometimes get too hot. A penguin keeps its egg on its feet so it doesn't get cold on the eye. 9. Farming the oceans People started fishing a long time ago, but today fishermen with big boats can catch a lot of fish. Sometimes we take too many fish from the ocean. In many parts of the world, people farm fish in the ocean. The fish grow quickly and they are also easy to catch. There are other types of farm in the ocean. In some places, farmers grow seaweed. When the seaweed is big enough, farmers collect it and dry it on the, the, end, the land, on land. Then they sell it. People eat it and all the farmers put it on their fields. People use seaweed to make ice cream. I hate seaweed ice cream. <laughs> it's not delicious, <laughs> but I think so. In the Pacific Ocean, farmers grow pearls. They pu put per pieces of shell inside shellfish called oysters and then they put oyster 
on rocks. Hard shiny covered coal pearls grow around the shell pieces. Farmers shell sell pearls for a lot of money. Ten oceans in danger. There are many dangers for ocean birds and other animals. Big boats carry oil across the, the ocean. If the oil gets into the water, the water, birds and other animals eat it. It also gets on the skin or feathers. It can kill them. Dirty water and chemicals from toilets, factories, and farms also go into the ocean. They can kill plants, fish, and other animals. People leave things on the beach. Too. Sometimes this thing can hurt animals. Sea turtle eat plastic bags because when they are in water, they look like jellyfish. Sometimes big fishing nets catch dolphins. Sea turtles, seals, and birds. Coral reefs are not safe either because they need clean water boats and break them too. So now we need to keep the ocean clean and safe. There are new rules so people can't take too many fish from the ocean. There are also new types of fishing net. Big animals can swim out of these nets. Now there are also some, some marine parks, special places where the ocean is always clean and safe. It's over. Please like, share, subscribe for me. Thank you very much.